Can't switch up my brother, can't switch up my dog If we good, then I'm good, then together we ball I'm on the ground, but they want me to fall Time to slide on the house, I know who I'ma call Win in, but I can't take a loss Oh man, turn myself to a boss Catch your leg and we gon' knock off this time Alright guys, we're at the gas station right now. After this, we're going to go ahead and get on the road. So, you know, stay tuned. It's like a six, seven hour drive. So, I'm going to try and get there probably around like seven, eight o'clock in the morning. So, you know, y'all stay tuned. The dude with the Hellcat, you saw me just said he would trade his Hellcat for an Audi. So I'm sitting here thinking like, I would trade my Audi for a Hellcat. So, you know, it's just crazy how life works, you know. You always want to watch something better. I don't care if you got a Lamborghini, eventually you're gonna want a Bugatti or something like that. It's always going to be levels and higher up. Once you get past the cars, you're gonna want a jet or you're gonna want a yacht. It's just always going to work like that. So yeah, just be happy with what you got, man. Cause you know, it can all be taken away in a second. Alright guys, right now we're about to go grab a bite to eat. There's not too many places open, but we're gonna try and find something. And then after that, go ahead and hop on the interstate and get this drive in. Two hours later. Alright guys, right now my car just let me know. And he's a liter of oil, so... You know, this is things you deal with on the roads. I'm glad I kept that in there. Mechanic tutorial. <laughs> this is how you put extra oil in there. Crazy at 3.50 in the morning. We're on the highway. We're in a city we don't even know. And we gotta put a liter of oil. I'll see if they got some. And it's snowing. Alright guys, as y'all know I've been trying to get in a shop and I've actually been wanting to move out here since I got out of high school. Like this was my goal to be cutting in Atlanta. So I'm actually in contact with a shop that's in a nearby city. It's called Norcross. It's basically the Atlanta area. So the manager or like the owner of the shop told me come up here and we can chop it up. And I'm also going to get cut by one of his barbers in the shop. So yeah, I'm just going to see how it goes out here. See if this is a vibe I feel like this is somewhere I could see myself being and starting a career out. So yeah, you made it to the Airbnb we're staying at. As you can see, I just finished up at the shop talking to the owner and also getting a haircut. So to show y'all around the place, right here is the entrance as you can see. You come over here, you got the living room area, you got this nice little coffee table. I really like the furniture in this place. So this, this stand, I would personally have it. If I had a house, I would put something like this in my house. Then you got this nice little couch right here with the matching couch right here. Um, I really like this artwork on the wall. I'm not sure what it is, but you know, it's real nice to me. This place has a real like modern homey vibe to me. So yeah, taking y'all to the kitchen, you got all stainless steel appliances. And then you also have, of course, the soft clothes drawers and then you got a nice little marble table to sit at if you're trying to chow down or something then 
back here. You got the deck. I haven't even been out here yet. See the woods. <laughs> and got a nice little chopping block table. <laughs> In a huge sink, as you can see. It's a huge sink. Then, heading down the hall to the right. On your left, you find the bedroom with a, I think it's a king size bed. It's a huge bed. It's the biggest bed I've ever had in the Airbnb. Huge bed, real nice bedroom. TV mounted on the wall. Then you come around over here. You have the closets. Nice big size closets. Right now we just got our luggage rolled in there. We got some, uh, mirrors on the outside of it then you come over here these are her storage units so you know nothing in there and then you know the washer dryer then you come down here and here's the bathroom I'll let you go in there look around so you got a real nice bathroom as you can see So yeah, I just wanted to give y'all a tour of the place. Guys, as you can probably tell, I've been asleep. It's going on. Nine o'clock now. Left around like 2 a.m. last night. 2 a.m. Drove all night till like 8, 9 o'clock. Made it here. You know, it skips an hour ahead, so it's 10 o'clock basically by then. So then when we get here... What all did we do when we first touched down? When we first touched down, we went and looked at three apartments. Boom, boom, boom. It was kind of tripping about being on the camera, so, you know, no footage there. And then after that, you know, we went to the shop and all that. The next day. Right, guys, we're about to get the day started. I don't know what we're going to do, but I just took some pictures in the kitchen. And now we're about to head out. I'm going to take y'all wherever we go. So for the outfit, we got a light denim jacket with the matching jeans. And then you had this off-white shirt underneath in the Alexander McQueen's. That's it. Alright guys, right now we're in Buckhead. We're about to go take some pictures and maybe shop, so yeah. We just left out of Montclair. I was trying to find a certain jacket but didn't see it. So we're just gonna keep looking around. Jumping. I'm talking about they got two lanes backed up trying to get in here. We're about to go ahead and get in line right now.
those of you who don't know, I have celiac disease, which basically it's better for me to eat gluten free. Like it just helps my stomach. It helps with like me not getting the runs or anything. She tried to copy me and get gluten free. <laughs> it tastes terrible. <laughs> my stuff is straight though. Guys, we've been sitting here. It's closing down. We gotta go wash dishes. My stuff declined, bro. Right, I'm going broke. I haven't been cut it here. I just wanted to, it's so I know. <laughs> you gotta take the denim off. <laughs> now, but my bank locked up my car because I traveled and I didn't even let them know. All right, guys, we're leaving. We just finished cleaning the dishes for them. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the car. Today is the day I'm going to the Bronner Brothers show. So to get this day started, what I'm actually going to do is start making this food. Basically, when you go to this place out in Atlanta, I think it's called Magnano's. I'm not really sure if I'm saying it right. But they give you a take-home pasta. So I'm about to go ahead and make those real quick. The cooking did not go well. <laughs> we put the ones that are supposed to go in the microwave in the oven. Uh, it's just melted like a plastic bag. Alright guys, we just made it to the Bronner Brothers show. We're about to go ahead and go in. They're big? Oh yeah. Too big, huh? We're at Bronner Brothers, mainly wearing the wig section and the like accessories and clothes and all that. I'll try to show y'all more when we get to the barber area just because I know most of y'all are barbers, so yeah, stay tuned. Everything below that in the exterior is my graduation. I can take that all the way down to zero, uh, to scale. Everything above, if I was trying to build up a square shape, that's what that means. I mean, we're just getting the shape of the head. By following that up, I mean, say. So this closed all the way a one and a half with the ground. This will probably wrap up this video. This was just kind of like the ends now. It's not really barber related, which I know most of my views come from barber related stuff. But this is for really anyone who just wanted to see my uh, normal day to day things I do on vacation. So, yeah, I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all are the real ones, you know. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe now. Let's get to 30K. But I appreciate y'all watching. This is Austin Mars TV, and I'm out.